Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film The Garden Left Behind. Now this is a film that's unusual in its subject matter because you don't usually see films focused on this subject with the, being the paramount focus, but it's about a woman living in New York. She lives with her grandmother. Uh, she's undocumented. She's come from Mexico. Her grandmother keeps telling her we need to go back to uh, Mexico and, and live our life there. She makes her living by using her car as a cab and driving people around the city. She, her name is Tina, but she is transgender and she is going, trying to raise, get the money, you know, uh, to, you know, move from uh, male to totally female sexual identity. And the movie's about her, about her life there, about the hardships that she faces. Uh, the, the, the main character is played by Carly Guevara. Uh, her grandmother is played by Miriam Cruz. And then Ed Asner and Michael Madsen are in the cast. And I think they're there just for star power because Ed Asner plays like her psych psychologist, psychiatrist who is working with her for her mental state and making the transition. And then Michael Madsen is the guy who runs a local bar and uh, hires her because she, she needs more work to raise more money. But they only have a couple of scenes. So there, if you're going to see you know, them uh, as being the primary reason for watching this movie, you're, they're not in the movie very much at all. But the story itself is very dramatic. Uh, you know, you, you see this aspect of the world that this woman lives in, what her goals are, how she's trying to, to live her life uh, as she wishes, as she feels she was born to you know, to be, to live her life. And, and you see uh, the reaction of other people, you know, to her and how they, how they, their reaction is. So it's got complexities all the way through it. All of the people in the movie who are supposed to be transgender are played by transgender actors. All of the people who are supposed to be of Spanish descent, you know, are actors of Spanish descent. So that, you know, when they speak Spanish, it's very natural to them. Uh, and when she, Tina, the, the main character, communicates with her grandmother, it's in Spanish with uh, English subtitles. But, you know, you can tell that a lot of care went into casting this film so that it was very, you know, uh, believable and understandable. But again, it's, it's a, a look at, uh, you know, the people in, in our world that we don't usually see, not as the central subject matter. The film itself is not rated, but I would rate it R for profanity, violence, and nudity. So it is you know, an adult concept, you know, film uh, if you care to watch it. I scored it 6 out of 10. The, the storyline again, is unique in the way that it puts focus on the transgender society and shows the problems uh, that uh, this woman has in her life. So six out of 10 for me. But reach down there, hit the subscribe button. We want you to be here when we talk about a whole variety of movies that are coming up. But for today, this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of the film, The Garden Left Behind.